Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be covering the Clip Studio Paint Essentials. All right, let's clean up this sketch. So there's a lot of different ways you can clean up your drawings. We're gonna use the inking style and that's a very graphic, bold, clean type of uh, cleanup. And it's a great way to start off if you're just learning digital drawing. But that's not to say it can't be advanced because even the most advanced and skilled artists still use this technique. It just depends on how complex you want to do your inks. But for this, we're going to keep it nice and simple, nice and clean, and easy for us to color. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate our sketch. Now I have an extra copy in case I ever want to go back. And these shadows are just for show. I can use them as a rough guide, but I can just do them again when I uh, finish the cleanups. And then we're going to enlarge the drawing. And to enlarge the drawing or transform it, we're going to use Command or Control T. Control is for PC users and Command is for Apple users. So Command and Control T will give you this transform box and you'll have four points to enlarge from. Um, if you don't hold onto any keys, it'll enlarge from the corner point on. Hit undo. If I hold option, it'll expand from the center point out evenly. And if I move this crosshair, it'll expand about that crosshair evenly. But I just keep it on center. Now, a special one is if you hold on to command or control, it'll distort the picture and it's a great way to create a uh, perspective or enlarge a portion of the drawing. So if you wanted to uh, fit this on a frame or something, like you have a mock-up frame and you want it to lay in perspective, you can. So like on the side of a box. And that's a great way to create objects that are graphic and flat that look like they're overlaid on top of flat surfaces. But for us, we're just going to be using the regular transform. We can center the drawing by clicking within the box, but not on the crosshair. Put that in the center, and then I'm going to enlarge it evenly down the center. I don't want to expand it too large because then I'll lose a lot of the textures that the, the brushes will bring. For example, if I have a color pencil and I'm at this size here, the texture of my color pencil starts to kind of disappear because it starts to get it starts to get really fine. I'd have to use a bigger brush. To enlarge or to shrink your brush sizes, you can press your open or close brackets. I also like to have the brush sizes right here on the left side. Another great way of expanding your brush tip is by holding Control and Alt for PC and for Mac using your Option and Command button and then clicking and then dragging. And you can easily slide around the sizes you want without having to click and slowly getting to the size you want. All right, now that that's out of the way, we can begin our cleanup or inks. So I'm gonna lower the opacity of this sketch so that I can see my clean lines easily. And I'm gonna create another layer on top. And you can use any one of these default brushes, the G pen, turn a pen to clean up. I actually like to clean up my drawings using one of the stock pencils that CSP has, and that's a darker pencil. It's kind of like your ink brush, but it does have some transparency in it. And it feels like I have more control and it's a little more forgiving in building up the lines just slightly. When I use the ink brushes, they're all very, very, very dark and sharp and there's no, there's no gradients. It's very hard edge. So it just means like it's opaque all the way up to the edge. Whereas the darker pencil, it's a little softer. It depends on how much pressure you apply to get a certain darkness. I'm gonna hit delete, get rid of that. All right, let's begin inking. A great way to start off when inking is to first do a complete outline of your drawing to create a silhouette. So I'm gonna choose a size that works. Right now I'm using 0.5 and I'm just gonna work around the drawing. I'm trying to create some variety in the line weight. And that just means some portions are thicker and some points are thinner depending on the length. And if you're having trouble hitting the lines perfectly, don't try to hit the lines so perfectly. It's okay to, to create new lines based off of the old one. Think of the first ones as guides. And also think of drawing through your lines. For example, this pocket, this pocket flap is actually above the line, but I've drawn through it and I can just, I can draw the pocket later and then erase out the portion that's being hidden. So I'm just gonna go through the entire drawing, this, this process. Remember to breathe when you're drawing too, because when you are so focused, you might get a little tense and that can affect your drawing. It'll show through your drawing. If you're tense, your lines become tense. Try to relax and it's okay to make your lines kind of messy 
it doesn't have to be perfectly clean and just go a little slower and use all the little jitters and accidents as being deliberate and part of your drawing. All right, so that's it for the outline. We can outline some of these leaves as well. I'm thinking of like fall and the star leaves. I don't really know the names of them, but I always see like these star leaves falling down on the ground for winter. All right, now that our outline is complete, uh, we're gonna clean up the rest of the, um, normally I would lower the size of the brush so that the outline is slightly thicker and it's starting to look pixelated when I ink. So instead of doing that, let's um, let's enlarge the drawing just a bit more. We can also enlarge multiple layers. So holding onto shift and selecting onto both layers and then hitting command or control T, opening up our transform box. Let's in and if we were to stay on that 0.5 brush, because we enlarged the uh, the over, overall drawing, it'll be slightly smaller. And as you can see, whenever you when you enlarge um, a drawing, it will tend to blur out your drawing a bit because it's creating more pixels to create the uh, larger version. So to kind of fix that, I'm going to sharpen the lines up a little bit. So on my lines, I'm going to go to Filter and hit Sharpen, and so the lines become a little bit more sharp. Um, and you can only do this so much before your drawing really gets distorted. So I initially should have enlarged the drawing about to this about this size here. Would have given me more room to to work with. All right, so now if we compare these two lines, they look a little more consistent. Now when cleaning up the rest of the drawing, you can start off anywhere. I'm gonna start off with the hair. Hair is a great place to start because it's overlapping the the face. I want to start on things that sit on top of other objects so that it overlaps. I'm improvising and creating new objects as I go. I'm not following the, the rough draft exactly as it is. That's pretty much it for the um, the inks. I'm gonna put in some final touches, some debris, some texture. And that's pretty much it for the clean lines. Let's pull it out a little bit. And the next thing we would do is color it. So we'll pause here for now, but we'll pick it back up in another video. Until then, you can follow me on all the socials at the Jetty Jet Show. Thanks for watching. Keep on drawing. Take care. Peace.